But check this out, guys. So this is what I was talking about. So we have the Hellcat ported 92 millimeter TB. We got the stock one. Look at look at the size difference here. Check this guys out. Check it out. I mean that's massive. <laughs> look, I can take the original TB and stick it inside the other one and look at this wobble it around i mean that is massive huge flip it over look at the difference here that's a massive massive difference it's gonna be a lot more airflow that's for sure What's up Mopar fam? I hope everybody's having a blessed day. Today we're gonna be putting on a new mod for Frostbite. Hopefully make the poor girl a little bit faster so we can hopefully get that nine second pass. So let's go check out what we're gonna do, what we got, and uh, it shouldn't take too long. But before we get started, we have literally an absolute race of maniacs over here at the house. Um, all the kids got out all of our racetrack event toys. <laughs> and uh, yeah, look at this crap. Look at this crap. They are terrorizing the neighborhood. My son, the littlest one, he's got his little go-kart out. Here he comes, flying. Get it! Look at him, get it! And we got this monstrosity coming. My golf cart. Yeah, my daughters are running the golf cart ragged. Just fixed it. They're probably going to break it again. And that one's a handful. But yeah. So anyway, if you wonder what all the noise is in the background today, well, there you go. We got we got the, the little kids 500, Indy 500 going on outside today. So yeah. So we got Frostbite. She's still in the trailer in hibernation. We haven't took it out uh, pretty much since the last time we raced. And we got a new modification to put on. Like I said, um, as you can tell, this guy right here is the stock original throttle body. Um, yeah, still running the stock original throttle body since day one of this truck. And that's what we're gonna be changing, guys. So, FRP, right there, FRP, the man, Flying Ryan Performance, he sent us over it's a ported Hellcat throttle body, as you can see. This thing is super thin. Um, so yeah, it's a ported Hellcat throttle body. And I believe the Hellcat throttle bodies are like 92 millimeter. Whereas the original, I want to say those are 84? Could be wrong, but it's, it's somewhere right there in the low 80s, I do believe. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a huge difference. Like, this throttle body can eat my original throttle body let's just put it that way um so we have another adapter plate that we had to get this is a holly uh adapter that's the part number 300-661 um because my holly intake manifold or the upper lid is the um, they're basically the LS style for like the 105 millimeter throttle body. So it's got a very large opening. And then we're using a uh, throttle body adapter plate, as you can see right here, that necks that down to accept the stock uh, 84, 85 uh, throttle body. So that adapter won't work. We had to get another one. 
Um, especially if we want to get out of here, boy. Get out of here. Especially if we want to um, not, you know, not neck it down and reduce it. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to keep the larger hole um, all the way through the intake. So that's the plan. And that's pretty much what this is going to do. As you can see, it is the diameter of this throttle body. Um, so we are going to be able to retain that larger diameter all the way into the intake manifold. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, so stay tuned. We're going to swap this thing out real quick. It shouldn't take too long. It's, you know, a handful of Allen belt, handful of Allen bolts. And uh, yeah, we're going to do it right here in the trailer. And then after we do that, we are going to have to uh, revise the tune. Um, so the truck, you know, will, will run correctly because we're going to be flowing a, a ton more air um, through the manifold, through the TB, and, you know, all the sensors and everything. It's all going to be kind of wonky. It's going to be seeing a lot more air. So the idle isn't going to be very, you know, probably very good. It's not going to be happy. Uh, so we're going to have to retune and adjust for all this extra airflow that we're getting. And uh, hopefully that extra airflow nets us a nine second pass. So stay tuned. Let's get this thing swapped out. We're going to remove the meth injection nozzle hose, the feed line right here, off of the intake tube. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this uh, clamp right here for the elbow. And then I'm going to remove the other clamp over here on the Torque Storm Supercharger um, outlet. And then should be able to just kind of lay my uh, charge pipe to the side and get it out of the way. Bust this thing loose with the old 11 millimeter. Hope everybody's having a fantastic weekend out there. I think after this, I might get the old truck out and give her a bath. Or we might just hop on the Harley and go for a ride. I don't know yet. It's a pretty nice day right now. Just waiting for it to warm up a little bit more. Alright, got that one loose. Come over here with our handy dandy 10 millimeter. Bust this one off. Should be able to give it the old what I call the, the jiggle wiggle, the jiggle wiggles. There we go, the old jiggle wiggles. And we'll just kind of lay all this stuff over there to the side. And we got the throttle body electrical connector down here. Give it the old squeeze and pull. Unplug that guy. And another thing I want to mention, we did have to order this. Um, I originally ordered it from Summit, and it went on back order, and like two weeks went by. I still never got it, so I uh, found out M MMX had one actually in stock. So canceled the Summit and ordered one from MMX. Had it in two days. This is a TB adapter harness. Um, because the you know frostbite's a 2011 and it's got the old style throttle body connector and all the new stuff has a throttle body connector it looks like this so this harness adapts basically the old to the new in order to use the newer hellcat throttle body so for those that has the older generation um 
Rams or Hemis or whatever, this may be required depending on the year of your vehicle. So we're gonna get an Allen head and we gotta bust off these four screws. Oh, bust off these guys real quick. So yeah, kind of uh, excited to see what this does. Hopefully we pick up a little bit of power. Um, FRP flying Ryan was telling me that, you know, normally on like a bolt-on car, um, you know, doing a TB swap, normally with a tune, um, he said you can normally, you know, pick up maybe, you know, 15, 20 wheel possibly with a TB swap. So, I don't know. I mean, it's not a lot, but uh, maybe with us being boosted, you know, having this larger TB should allow, um, hopefully, all the extra air that we're pushing to gain us some power. So, we'll see. I, I don't believe it's going to make us slower, you know. So, I think it can only help. So, we'll we'll go to we'll go from there. See what happens on the track ticket. I know we're running out of time because you know spring's right here around the corner or pretty much here. Starting to get warmer. Um, granted, we're still having some you know some mildly decent cold days, so I'm kind of hoping that I can still get a pretty good um, cool track day to. You know, go run the truck and, and get the nine on the original motor. You know, before we end up putting in our new BGE 392 that we're building currently, and uh, try to get that nine second pass um, on the stock 57. You know, that's that's my plan. Want to try to get it. <laughs> Want to try to get it really soon because, like I said, the the good air days are are going to run out here soon, and it's going to be getting hot. And uh, it's going to be a lot harder to try to get it in the heat. That's for sure. Probably the only way to get it in the heat, <laughs> if we're forced to, is going to be using the old nitrous. And uh, I've been trying not to do that. I don't want to do that. I want to be able to do it with just a stock motor. And the torque storm supercharger because i think that you know that that's going to be that's a huge milestone um for for a truck that you know is 46 20 pounds you know over over 4600 pounds that's that's pretty that'd be pretty impressive in my eyes but we got our bolts out i'm gonna have to kind of bump this with a hammer because uh we used a little bit of honda bond rtv silicone or whatever between the throttle body and this adapter plate that is how we sealed it uh, for the time being when we installed this stuff so she got a little bit of a stick oh, oh, there. get off that's good stuff i'm telling you what just bite it maybe a little pry bar right here maybe we can get it loose come on Ah, there we go. Tell you what, that old Honda Bond is some serious stuff, buddy. It seals it up, no leaks, I'm telling you. Now we got four screws to remove this uh, adapter plate that goes from the 105 Holly intake to the, I believe, like I said, it's 84, 85, 86 millimeters, somewhere in there for the stock throttle body. Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it. There we go. Now, as you can see, the Holly has a ginormous hole, <laughs> uh, literally fisting my motor. The stock ported Hellcat throttle body. Let's see. It just does fit inside the Holly manifold. So, there you go. Definitely going to be a more matched, you know, throttle body than the stock one. 
as you can see that's the reducer plate that we did have so yeah we're gonna flow a lot more air boys that's for sure so we got our tb ready we got some bolts we got some blue loctite good old buddy friend of mine mr john cope says one drop of loctite on your bolts works best he's a smart feller so we like to listen to him we got our tb our new one from holly we got it all siliconed up um, because we don't have a gasket to go between it and the manifold so we're just going to use silicone like we did no big dilly works better i believe anyways not as prone to blow out gaskets under boots that's my opinion so and then the front of it has an o-ring installed from holly that actually seals the tb throttle body to this um, uh, adapter plate as you can see that's the big o-ring all the way around so the new uh, holly screws are five millimeter instead of the ones we did have and smushed all right so we got our adapter put on oh look i can still put my hand up in there and now we are going to install the actual throttle body with these 10 millimeter screw 10 millimeter head screws i'm gonna put a drop of loctite on each one of those and we're gonna get our fancy new throttle body one drop here this look, look, look. oh one good dropper one drop of goop and we're gonna put it right there there goes one go a little bit on this one and we'll go a little bit on that one we don't want that one to get mad at us get this one because it's trying to get left out give it about a couple human rat-a-tats pretty good pretty good chick 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 got them things torque click click It's a good torque wrench right there. Cut, cut. Boom. Ported Hellcat throttle body is installed. Now we're going to get our wiring adapter. Nice and click. Click. I think what we're going to do, so this don't get down in my belt, is we're going to put the intake boot on and we're going to hold this cord over here like this to kind of keep this in between the boot and the pipe. And it'll keep our wire out of the way we've been bamboozled again there mopar fam so we got the uh we got the uh hellcat throttle body on as you can see but we're going to order some more parts i didn't think about it but this tb is basically about four inches um the opening and my 90 degree boot that we were using this is three and a half inches and then it goes to a three inch for the tubing uh, for a charge pipe so we are going to have to get a bigger boot we're going to need to get a four inch to a three inch um, i thought i could stretch this thing over there but <laughs> yeah it has basically called me a wussy as you can see i am literally bleeding um 
if I even get it stretched over it, it is going to be a nightmare every single time we got to try to put that thing on. Um, it's just not worth the hassle, so I got to get a new boot. All right, guys. So, as you can see, we got everything back together. We got a new boot. Uh, we ordered in from Amazon. We got a four inch to a three inch boot. Everything's back together, plugged up, plumbed. So now we got a ported Hellcat throttle body. So, otherwise, it's awesome hanging out with you guys today. Don't forget, give the video a thumbs up, comment down below uh, what you think the truck hopefully will do or pick up power wise. Um, think it's going to get us to the nines? We're close. We last time out, what it was 10008. And now we're putting a monster throttle body on com compared to our old one. So, what do you guys think? Think it's going to do it? It's going to be enough. I don't know. We'll see. Comment down below what you think. We'll see you guys on the next one.